What's up guys, Johnny Q here. In today's video, I'm gonna be shooting the six hour macro with the 43X and kind of compare as far as shootability and the way they recoil. So let's get into it. Up first, the six hour P365 macro. Also, my target is about, I wanna say 10 yards out. Also running the optic on here. This is the hollow sun optic. So here we go. What I'm mainly looking for is the amount of recoil and if I can mitigate that recoil with my overall stance and grip. I mean, as you can already tell, the amount of recoil that's happening is not that much. And I'm able to mitigate that recoil by my grip, by my stance, and I'm not all over the place as I think I would be with the 43X, right? So. Here we go again, let's try it again. I mean, it also feels like I'm cheating with that optic. For the most part, for a gun that's compact and holds 17 rounds plus one in the chamber, I mean, there's almost no recoil and we can thank that compensator up here. That's right up here, the compensator for that. So it's just, a, it's just really fun shooting this thing. <laughs> Overall, it's just a blast shooting this thing. It's so much fun. This is my new everyday carry. My my everyday carry was the 43X, but man, I'm having a blast with this thing. Oh, just no recoil. Okay, uh, enough of the macro. Let's uh, let's test out the 43X iron sights. No optic, so it'll be tricky. All right. The downside of the 43X, 10 rounds plus one in the chamber means 11 rounds, which kind of sucks because a macro, you get seven more rounds, which is crazy. All right. I mean, it, it does feel good. The 43X does feel good in my hands. It's super compact, very small. I mean, you just bear hug, you bear hug that grip. Let's, uh, let's feel that recoil and see what we get. Yeah, okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but it's snappier. It's a lot more snappy. Like when I shoot the 43X, it just, it feels more, um, it feels more rigid. Like I can feel, it just feels pointy. Like I can't really explain it, but when you go and shoot a 43X, it just feels sharp. It feels rigid. It doesn't feel as smooth as, as the macro. Like I'm not, this is just my opinion, okay? So it could be different for you guys. I'm a Glock fanboy as Glock fanboys can be. So the fact that I'm saying this is kind of absurd to be honest, but it's still a good feeling gun. It just doesn't feel as, I would say normal as the macro. Okay, a couple more rounds, here we go. It's, it's hard to, <laughs> All right, I'll just keep shooting. Yeah, I mean, it is, it's a good gun for everyday care. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying that it's not, but it is just harder to love after getting used to that macro. I don't know if you can see the recoil, but it's, I don't know, it's just not... I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a little target that I have, a little steel target that I'm hitting. But uh, it, it, like I said, on my pointer finger, when I pull on the trigger, it feels sharp, it feels rigid. I'm gonna go back to the macro, see how I like that. Let's see. I mean, gripping, I know that I've said the, the feel of the 43X just feels like home, but this just feels like mama's house. <laughs> When you're, on, when you're at college and you come back from college, you go to mama's house, this is what this feels like. I mean, it's thin. You can grip the entire handle. You, it feels like a full-size handgun without being a full-size handgun, right? So, oh man, I'm hugging that. I'm in hugging that entire pistol with ease. All right, here we go. Yeah. 
that <laughs> it's fun to shoot, man. Oh, I want Glock to make a version like this with 18 rounds plus one. I don't know how they would do that. Just for comparison size, like it's not that much larger. The Glock 43 and the macro. Look at that. It's not that big of a difference as far as like size, length of barrel and overall handle, but man, the macro just handles like a dream. It really does. Got one more, I <laughs> got one more. Oh yeah. I'm not being paid by six hour to say this at all. I'm just letting you guys know my true honest thoughts on the six hour macro versus the 43X. Now I've used the 43X for about a year, year and a half as far as my everyday carry. But now that I got the six hour macro with the optic, it just feels like this is kind of obsolete. It just doesn't feel like this would be the everyday carry gun. Let me shoot it again, see what happens. I, I, I've shot this many a times. Like I, I think I've put down maybe four to 5,000 rounds through the 43X and it, it I'm not, that's a, dude, that's, that's good. I'm not saying it's not good. Like I'm hitting, I'm hitting the steel target at this point, probably what, 10, 20, 15, 20. I'm not saying it's an inaccurate firearm. I'm just saying for the everyday carry, I feel like there's more comfortable guns out there that have larger capacity magazines that just feel better in your hands and aren't as snappy. And so this is, I got no more ammo, I wanted to shoot again. If I was a new shooter and I wanted to get into everyday carry guns and I wanted to stay within a budget, I would say I would go with the 43X. This would cost you maybe overall 500 bucks without an optic, just out of the box, 500 bucks. It's a good everyday carry gun. I carried it for about a year and a half. It's not bad. If I wanted to spend a little bit more money and get serious about everyday carry, if I wanted to spend a little bit more money, get an optic and get more round capacity, I'd go with the macro. Both great guns, but in my opinion, that compensator on the macro helps the mitigation of recoil overall. And that's why I think overall the macro may beat the 43X. My opinion, again, I'm not saying this is a bad gun. It's a great gun, but overall I'd go with the macro. I have shot about four to 5,000 rounds on the 43X. I've shot maybe 1,000 to 1,200 at this point. So I'm not, you know, as far as reliability, I've not really tested it uh, on that side, but I have on the Glock. So I can say as for reliability, I've had few malfunctions on the 43X and so far I've had few malfunctions on the macro being 1,000 rounds in. So there's that, you gotta think about that too. You guys can form your own opinion. I just hope this video helps you kind of expand your perspective and mind about the 43X and the macro. So don't mind me, I'm gonna go reload, shoot some more because it's just so much fun. And I thank you guys for watching. Please comment down below what else you wanna see on the Johnny Q channel. Peace.